All right, don't let all the melting snow or early spring showers soak your home. There are some important things you can do now to protect your place. And today, on World Plumbing Day, it is only appropriate that we have Jeff Morgan from Morgan Miller Plumbing back with us today. Yay. Did you even know that it was World Plumbing Day? Yes, we did. It is a big day for you. Protecting Huge. the health and welfare of our world. Yes, that's you, one house at a time. Okay, so you brought in a sump pump for us today. So yes. how do sump pumps work? And more importantly, how do they keep homeowners from having a huge basement filled with water? Pumps work when there's water. Yes. That's how they work. They sit in a pit. Um, they'll kick on through this float. Uh, when the water fills up the pump, or the pit, I mean, excuse me, and the water will come out of this tube and out of your home. Now, what should people look for to make sure that their sump pump is working properly? Sound, maybe. Yeah. When it's raining, people will know when they hear that hum that their click pump's on. working. Right. It should be going. Right. And we were talking earlier, what happens if your power goes out? Because this is electrical, but can you a get a battery A lot of back? great battery backup systems out there, very inexpensive, very moderate in price. Um, okay, so does every does every home have a sump pump? Not every home. Basements, homes that uh, have water problems that are below the water table in their neighborhood. Now, how much would this cost? How much, uh, this? and because this is an investment, you absolutely have to have one of these if you're it in a low It depends on whether area. they've already got the pit inside, Michael. If they don't have the pit inside their home and we've got to break up the floor and put the pit in, yes. much more expensive than just replacing a pump. This will last 6, 10, 12 years, 15 years maybe. Nice. Now, what's the 411 on this? Can somebody try and install this by themselves, or should they call the experts at Morgan They should call their plumber, and what they should do, we, I know we do this, we give a special in the spring to come check it out, because it's not, I don't want to scare people about the winter or the weather and the, the rain and the buying something, but I want them to be prepared. I want them to be ready. Now, when it actually goes off, this goes up, is there an alarm or something? I mean, does it set off an alarm? No, no, this will pump up, this will kick on, it'll take the water down. Once the water level goes below here, below this ball, it'll drop again. And up and down, up and down, up and down. Depends on how much rain you have. And so, Pretty much every house would need one of these if it's in a low-lying area. I mean, if, yes. there's, if there's a chance that your your basement is going to get water, or you might. If you've ever had water in your basement, you know it. And that's the problem. We haven't had any real rainy seasons for a couple of years in Kansas City, and we're scared to death this might be the one. So if you've got a pump, make sure it's working. If you don't, call us to see if we can help you. And do you need to have it checked? I mean, would, would you suggest a, uh, just a quick maintenance check for Absolutely. you guys? Just to make Absolutely. it better safe than sorry? Call your plumber. Okay, what else can somebody do for spring, to prepare for spring? For springtime, uh, in the plumbing world, uh, I don't know. Like downspouts, things like that? Check your downspouts, yes. check your, uh, your splash blocks, make sure everything's working, especially through this winter. And that yeah. drains are kind of away from the home, so that right. there's no, not a lot of pooling. And that's what happens. Yeah. A lot of times if the ground is coming towards your home, all you're doing is recycling the water. Going up against the foundation, down to your sump pump, back out, back down. It's crazy. I feel pretty fortunate because I live way on the tippy tippy top of the hill, but I feel <laughs> bad for all my neighbors, you know, on the lower levels. I'm sure that they would have to have the hey, hello down there. I'm sure they would have to have sump pumps. All right. Sounds good. Get your sump pump checked because spring is coming. All right. Thanks, my friend. All right.